What's good, YouTube family? It's your boy S. Crap Lens back again with another barber tutorial. And today we're gonna jump right into this transformation by just hacking off the top. Like you guys know, many times I don't use the shears. I just jump right in and you know start grabbing my sections and I just hit it with the clippers. I've been doing this for probably 25 years, man. Just it just works for me, saves my hand from cramping. And it's just like using shears, you still have your sections and partings, you just uh, you know cut it with the clippers instead of the scissors. Now we're gonna go ahead and wet the hair, create a nice little part. He wants to take that number two all the way up. So that's what we're gonna do. I kinda just jumped in a little easy with it, but then now I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in with that number two, taking it all the way up to that part. We have a joke in our shop that we always say number two all the way up because a lot of times when we're doing fades and we're trying to move through a fade, we know that if we do a number two all the way up, it gives us plenty of, you know, foundation. It's like the groundwork so that we can go ahead and start, you know, blending into that really easy. So we're going to take that number two all the way around and we're starting off with the number two open and then we'll close that number two and blend into the two that was open. Doing more of a fade down technique on this haircut. As you can see, I'll use my comb to push the hair down to feed it into that two open guard. started with that two open I don't know if you noticed but I closed it and now I'm just blending right into that two open with the number two closed all right now we're dropping down just a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and blend into that number two close with a one and a half closed sometimes I'll open it but sometimes I'll just skip that step and we'll just go ahead and keep it closed and just flick right into that two closed Once again, we're using the fade down technique so we don't create any, you know, lines right off the rip, you know, and do guidelines. We just go ahead and go from the top down. That's why I started with cutting the top off first and just blending my way down. As you watch this video, you'll notice that this side I really don't favor that much. I favor the other side a little bit more simply because uh, you guys know I like to throw down a foundation first and I come in and do detail but on this side I know I'm gonna put a part uh, somewhere in the middle here so I just kind of get a rough draft I'll come back and clean it up later after I put the part in so right now I have my number one guard all the way open and then I'm just blending right into that one and a half guard closed which, you know, is this one open is a little bit shorter, in my opinion, uh, than the one and a half closed. Uh, but we'll just blend right into that. And then we're going to go ahead and close it right there. And we'll just blend right into it. And if I'm working sides, usually that's what I'll do. I'll do like the two and a half or the two open. And then I'll just drop down, do the two close. And then I'll move all the way around the head. And then same thing, I'll do the one open, one close, then move around the head doing the same thing. His hair naturally is a little patchy, so it it's a little challenging, man, to get this blend to come together. Uh, you know, he just has dark spots in his hair. So I have to use a lot of the corners of the blades and guards just to tap in those dark spots to get the blend to come together. So his hair, it is challenging. It takes me a little while to get it done, uh, but I just keep working at it until I can get it, you know, looking as best as I can. A lot of people don't really care for the fade down technique, 
but the ones that do man they fall in love with it and in my opinion it's just easier that's my opinion you know some people are like i just can't figure it out for me it just seems pretty simple you just keep working your way down you know just uh from from the highest guard to the lowest guard until you know if you're doing a skin fade you just work it down till it's bald and uh for me it's just it's just easier some people feel like they get lost because you know they they don't have guidelines but if you're you're just constantly dropping down a little bit you know it, it's not that hard it's it's pretty easy uh you just um, you know have those imaginary guidelines in your head if you need them so we did the two open dropped a little lower did the two closed we did the one and a half closed into the number two then we did the number one guard open into the one and a half closed and then we did the one closed into the num uh the one open and now we're doing the zero guard closed into that number one and i just closed it and now i'm doing the zero guard into uh that zero open the reason i like the fade down technique as well is you can blend this thing high you can blend right now you know some people would say oh it's looking a little high but the reality is i use that zero guard all the way down towards like the end of his c cup area right at that corner peak and if I threw a bald line in there right now, then I can make it look lower, you know, or I could throw an edge on it, keep the C cup, and it just looks like a stretch fade. You know, I can kind of do what I want with it at this point, unless he wanted a really dark, you know, a dark fade, but he didn't. So it's kind of, you can stretch it out. You can, you know, do a mid fade, high fade, you know, low fade, whatever, from this position, I feel like. So the same thing all the way around the head. We're just speeding it up for the sake of time so we can get you guys out of here. Uh, but yeah, it's just fade down technique. If you guys don't know, today is my 18 year anniversary. My wife let me get away just for a little bit so I can uh, do this voiceover and drop this video for you guys. She knows it makes me happy. So she's like, baby, I just want you to be happy. So uh, I'm excited about that. So uh, you guys give a shout out to my wife. Uh, let her know you appreciate that. So right now we took the zero guard off. Now we just have the open blade and I'm fading into that zero guard. Now what I like to do in this, usually when I'm using guards, I pretty much just do open closed right but whenever I get to the actual blade that's when I start working in quarters I will have it all the way open and then or I, or maybe thirds I'll have it all the way open then I close it halfway and drop a little bit lower and then I close it all the way dropping a little bit lower and at that point I should be pretty much bald and I just come in with my trimmers clean up the rest of the hair and then hit it with the shavers right now with the open i kind of i'm creating a line as you can see and i'm okay with that because i know i can flick that line out but it actually is kind of giving me a guideline to where i want to keep that bald uh, because as we start getting closer to the bottom and we start getting around that bald area i want that line to be as straight as possible uh, so that kind of gives me a little guideline even though that thing is waving right now it's okay it still gives me an idea of where I need to be at with that bald line. All right, now that's when I'm coming in with it open. And I'm holding my clipper at an angle where it's more of just the teeth of the blade on the head. And I'm just flicking it out. I have, this is my wall seniors with the, uh, the filthy mod on it with the uh, Andis blade. So I can use my purple magnetic guards. Um, but I do have the taper blade on there or the, the regular blade. You don't want to use the teeth of the blade like that if it's a, 
like an Andes Fade Master blade because them teeth, man, they'll they'll dig in them pores and, and yank somebody's head off. So you want to make sure that, you know, if it's a flat blade, a fade blade, that you're keeping that that blade flat against the head and basically uh, kind of flicking out so that way you don't, you know, you don't dig into it. Now I'm just using the corners of the blade around this line area to make sure that we, you know, knocking out any little dark spots or little lines that we see. And uh, I feel like if you use the corner of the blade, it's almost like you can get in between, you know, uh, hairs, hit dark spots without creating, you know, a big line, say if you were using the full blade. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that whenever I'm doing a haircut, I try to move as quick as I can to lay a foundation just to make sure all the hair is kind of where I want it. I'm not really looking for perfection or this, you know, this blurry blend. I'm looking to make sure that, you know, everything is pretty much falling into place. And then I'll come back in and do my detail work at the end. To, to you know knock out dark spots or lines uh, you know right now thankfully I have the free time to kind of move at my own pace and just talk and laugh and have a good time however whenever I am you know on a schedule uh, our haircuts here at headlines are 30 minute appointments for a haircut and 45 minute for a haircut and beard so whenever whenever I'm you know on a tight schedule if it's just a haircut, I like to do all the foundation work in like 20 minutes, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll spend the rest of the time uh, coming in, doing my detail work, uh, just, you know, trying to make the blend come together. So because of that, that's just kind of how I that's just how I kind of uh, cut hair now. You know, even if I have time, I just try to do the rough draft and come back in and clean it up. So as you can see, we came in with our shavers or our, our trimmers, balled it out the bottom. Now I'm hitting it with the shavers, put the edge on the, the front uh, vertical bar there just to kind of give us a picture. And yeah, I see that line, I see it. Um, but at least you know where that fade ends at because there again, you can look at it and say, man, this fade's looking kind of higher. But as you can see, it's more of a stretched out blend. And that's what you can do when you fade down. I feel like stretched out blends, in my opinion, look better than darker fades. Uh, I feel like it just, it, it looks like it fades more. You know, it just looks cleaner. And, and you have, uh, you know, in my opinion, more control. And you can, you know, just uh, give a blurrier looking fade when you stretch it out. And it definitely helps when you fade uh, from the top down. And now I just come in with, you know, some detail clippers like I could use the, the ones I was using, but for whatever reason, man, these uh, these JRLs, they just really do a good job uh, getting in there and doing, you know, detail work, knocking out lines. And, uh, you know, I'll keep tapping at it until I feel like that line is is disappearing. Um, however, I still come back in, you know, with, with right now my uh, my walls and, and just knock down some of that longer hair that's it was a little you know hard to get to with with the other clipper and uh, now like I said this side is looking kind of rough his hair is a lot more patchier on this side for whatever reason however uh, it's also patchy because I, I didn't take the time to really you know mess with it like I did the other side because there again I knew I was gonna put this part in here and and basically we are not looking to do a part like a you know like like a comb over part this is more of a a design part you know so he likes to just throw it in there to add a little bit of style and we like to curve it down in the back so i hit the top line first you know making the line then i come back in you know uh and hit the bottom line that way we give it more of a sharper look see now i'll come back in with that zero guard open and close just working at any of the little dark spots, come back in with my JRLs and just do some detail work around the line there. And if I see any dark spots, you know, up closer to the design, 
or that part, then I'll, I'll tap at those as well. I also come in with my shears and do a little shear over comb work, just uh, tapping at spots that I really couldn't get to as much as I wanted to with my clippers. Now we're going to go ahead and throw a line up on it on his if you're looking at his head right now on his left side it goes way higher than his right side it just it, it slants so i pushed it up a little bit more on his right side to be even with the left side however i didn't want to push it up too high just simply because there's a lot of long hair that we don't want to cut off you know to push that right side up so as you can see, I'm just doing some uh, shear work in, in that, you know, parietal ridge area. And I always go around looking at all angles of the head, hitting anything. Now with the bangs here, because he's combing it in that direction, I just kind of uh, pull those over to the side and cut them to tie in to that top. So he still has length in his bangs, but it kind of falls nicely into that other side. Put some gel in it to style it up for him. And uh, then I'll come back in with my shear over comb and and you guys if you watch any of my videos man this is one of my main techniques i use all the time just because i feel like i have more control to get out any dark spots techniques like this and like this uh, but i'll just move all the way around the head man and keep working at it and this is my detail work i just go in and start tapping until i get a nice blurry looking blend like you see right here and as you can see, I cleaned his beard up for him too. No color enhancement on this haircut. He didn't want any today. Usually he does, but uh, he had to go. So anyways, there's the cut, guys. I hope you like it. Once again, like always, God bless you guys. I thank you so much for your support. And uh, once again, thank you to everybody that helped me to get 10,000. It's only the beginning, guys. We're taking it to a whole nother level. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me at S period craft underscore blends for more amazing content. Till next time, guys, God bless. Peace. I'm out of here.